channel, I'll be talking about whatever I fucking want. Well, this year's Boston Marathon is quite different this year. Ten years ago, I watched the 2013 Boston Marathon, and it was my first Boston Marathon to watch on WBC TV Boston. I loved to watch it every spring break vacation, as it has been a tradition for me ever since. But now that's no longer the case anymore. Back then last year, I immediately thought, as I always do, that WBZ would continue broadcasting it live in the year 2023. Then that news article from WCBB came up. It was the it was announced by the Boston Athletic Association back in June two thousand June twenty second, two thousand twenty two, that WCBB will become the new exclusive broadcast partner of the Boston Marathon in two thousand twenty three. Keep in mind, this isn't the first time WCVV did it, or at least I n now know. Back then, WCVV did broadcast the Boston Marathon from 1982 to 2006. I never really knew that after watching WBC TV's live broadcasting coverage of the Boston Marathon over the last nine years, and it now it seems like I'm not gonna watch any special live coverage that the BC TV used to do over the years. And while I'm very grateful that I did get to watch the Boston Marathon on WBZ while it lasted for so long, because of course they were Boston's first television local station, I'm now not so sure if I'm still gonna watch the Boston Marathon on spring break week like I do as a tradition every year. Because WBZ will now have to air their regular week noon local newscast at 12 p.m. for the first time in 16 years on Marathon Monday, which is Patriot's Day here in Massachusetts. But I guess the times have changed. I'm willing to give WCV TV Boston a chance by watching their live coverage of the Boston Marathon, but I may slowly stop watching it as a tradition of mine since I only prefer WBZ TV. At the end of the day, this is the BAA's decision and I respect that.